AJ, and it was a great day in terms of weather, at least, uh, to watch the Seahawks. Uh, too bad the outcome. But, hey, if you're heading out for some college football this Saturday, your weather is looking pretty good. Uh, that's out in Pullman. If you're going to go check out uh, the Cougs and the Beavers, well, we're expecting the upper 50s for the afternoon. Some sunshine, feeling pretty nice overall all day long. Seaside 44 right now. Yep, it's another cold night. Temperatures below normal for us. We get to tomorrow morning and we watch that temperature drop even more. It won't be quite as pronounced as it was this morning. Why? Because we do have some clouds moving in and we do have some rain moving in closer to the coast and that'll be a little bit more evident by the time we get to tomorrow morning. Current conditions in Portland, we're at 50, wind is calm, and your temperatures overnight will be moving back down into the low to mid 40s. Hey, let's take a look at our recent temperatures. Just this is in the last couple of weeks, and so about 50% of the time, our temperatures in the last two weeks have been below normal. So what's normal now for Portland? Well, this time of year, that would be a high of 68 degrees. So let's talk about your drought conditions. Every Thursday we get our drought update and guess what? Nothing has changed. It's exactly the same as it was last week. That being for the state of Oregon, the exceptional drought category accounts for almost 27% of the state. The extreme drought category, that's 72% and the severe 96.5%. So let's do something about that, huh? Let's get some rain into the picture. You have some light rain popping up for the coast. Nothing in terms of rain for you in eastern Oregon or central Oregon. It'll be mostly cloudy for us here in the valley. You'll get a few sun breaks, but overall you'll notice it's more clouds than not. We get to Saturday. Saturday, if you're south of Portland, you have a better chance of seeing some sunshine in the early part of the day. There's your little bit of rain showing up right there at the coast. Not necessarily reaching the valley until we get to Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Here comes our next front. This one. Oh yeah, some measurable rain in there. And guess what else? Colder air and snow levels going all the way down to possibly even 4,000 feet. Now, does that mean we're gonna see snow actually accumulating on our mountain passes? While it's falling in the moment at the coldest temperature possible, but at this point in the game, those roads, well, they're still pretty warm. So we'll look for your snow level forecast again to fall pretty dramatically as we get to Sunday night into early Monday morning. But guess what happens Monday morning? In case you're thinking, oh yes, that means some snow for me down to the foothills. No, Monday morning we're transitioning away from the wet weather and into dry conditions, but still getting colder. Okay, how much rain could we see here? Well, if we add it all up Saturday night into Sunday, early Monday morning, perhaps three tenths of an inch for us in Portland, but you notice the bigger totals, oh, that's out towards the coast, possibly more than an inch. How about your temperatures tomorrow? Beach weather, well, mostly cloudy and a decent chance for some light rain, upper 50s. In the valley, right around 60 to 63. Also the low 60s across eastern Oregon and central Oregon. And those temperatures, your low temperatures for tomorrow, back down to freezing, even below freezing for you out towards Burns. The Dalles, upper 60s. Uh, morning low in the low 40s. Hood River, low 60s. Government Camp, 51. So for the seven day forecast, we're transitioning out of the 60s and into the 50s starting on Sunday. Sunday's high only 55. We're going to stick with the mid to upper 50s all the way through next week with the chance of rain almost every single day. Coin 6 News, we'll be right back.